optimize a company's use of its time, its energy, its money, and its human potential. Most people in this business are just looking for like some kind of side hustle. Can I make 10K a month? whatever. And there's okay. nothing wrong with that. But if like, if you actually want to get to the point where you have a real business that like could potentially even be sold down the road, like it'll be literally fucking impossible to do if you don't have your operations in order. And not only that, but yeah. we were kind of just talking like our kind of thing, like hanging in the mountains, hanging in the beach, being in nature. Yeah. I find yeah. if you don't have your operations in order, like that's literally fucking impossible. Totally. Um, totally. So why don't we, why don't we start? Cause I, we were kind of talking about a couple of different people that came to mind for this talk about how yeah. they have operations problems, but they don't know they have operations problems. So let, what are some of the like obvious telltale signs that you got some operational issues that don't look like maybe on the surface level as like operational issues? Yeah, totally. It's such a good question because the problem is that operations touches literally every piece of the business, right? So if you lack operations in sales, it's it's going to look like a sales issue. If you lack operations and marketing, it's going to look like a marketing issue. So how do we determine whether something is truly a sales and marketing problem or an operations problem? Let's start with just what my definition baseline of operations is. Operations is any action required within a business to optimize a company's use of its time, its energy, its money, and its human potential. So at the end of the day, operations is just about maximizing your ROI across these four resources. And you're going to know that you have an operational bottleneck if it feels like you are wasting these four resources. If your time as a CEO is being pulled into the day-to-day, -day, spent on low value activities, doing the things that you know you shouldn't be doing, that's an operational problem. If your energy, like if you are showing up and doing all the things that you hate, in your business, or it feels like your business is an energetic black hole. Like you are just dumping energy into this in thing. Yeah, right. Like you're just showing up day after day, just grinding against this thing and you are seeing no movement, right? That's an energy bottleneck. That's an operational bottleneck. Money is the obvious one, right? Like I'm not as profitable as I wanna be. I'm not achieving the kind of scalable and sustainable growth I want. Like maybe we're having these huge revenue bursts, but then we're either roller coastering or we're hitting this kind of plateau. Um, and then human potential, if your team, pretty much if your team is bugging you, if your team is coming to you all the time, if they are constantly asking you the same questions, if you're like, why can't these people think for themselves? That's an operational issue. You're underutilizing your human potential. So yeah. what we're going to dive into today, Frankie, is like more specifically, how does this stuff break down within a company? But at the end of the day, like if you know that your company could be operating better then it can. And there's an operational bottleneck at work there. We just have to double click on it and figure out exactly what's going on. Yeah, I love actually what you just said. Sorry, I, was, I wasn't putting on a little Zelda music for us just to build some ambiance here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, one of the telltale signs for me is, is if you handle stuff differently every time. So like you mentioned the sales and the, the marketing kind of things. And if you have yeah. a sales process that kind of just like, well, the owner will schedule a call and and we'll take the call and see how it goes and maybe send a proposal. And it's a little bit different each time. Like that's actually an yeah. operational issue. And I was listening totally. to uh, something by a good friend of mine named Michael Mogul. And he said uh, they built a $50 million per year video editing um, agency, mostly in the legal space, but they do a few other niches as well. And he said, you know, anybody who's been in this business longer than five minutes has had a good idea. And the operation side of it is actually executing on that idea. Like, how do you, how do you, you know, he's talking about a podcast. Like, so how do you actually get the guest on? How do you record it? Right. What right. tool do you use to do that? What's the editing? How do you put in the intro? Where do you post it? What are the hashtags? What are the titles? And all of that on the surface is operation or behind the surface, I should say, is operational stuff. But it looks like, sure. hey, just make a podcast and record a cool idea and that's it. But if you don't have you know, some sort of structure. And he's like, and that's just one little thing we do in our business. We got about a hundred more of those. And so even yes. like the marketing endeavors are all like boring operational processes behind the scenes. And they look yep. like, create, you know, like, oh, I had this really creative show, but in reality, it's just like boring shit done yeah. time after yeah. time. Um, well, here's the problem, right? Because that's a perfect example of like, it's, it's one piece of a hundred across a business and it's still getting done. This is why most people don't know they have an operational issue because the podcast still eventually gets out. The sale still gets made. The marketing campaign still goes out, right? Like the things are still getting done. It's just a matter of whether they're getting done at 20% efficiency 
50% efficiency or 120% efficiency, yeah. right? That's where operations plays. You're going to run a business with or without operations. It's just going to be so painful and like, like dragging a ball and chain behind you, or it's going to feel like you're on this like magical roller coaster and you can barely keep up with it. The difference yeah. is operations. How quickly do you want to get there? How frictionlessly do you want to get there? And how much do you want to enjoy the ride? Hey guys, if you like this video, you'll probably also like our free Facebook group, Beyond Agency Profits, Agency Lifestyle Design. Uh, you can get free copies of the book inside here. It's, I look ridiculous. We're doing weekly Q and A's, giving answers to all your questions. Some of the best, smartest, brightest people. We've got lots of industry leaders doing seven, eight figures and beyond. It's a literal who's who of the brightest uh, agency owners that I know, as well as lots of tips on scaling and stuff, books that work. So if you're not already part of it, uh, you're going to want to be part of it. So make sure to click the link. I put it in the description of the video as well as in the pinned top comment below. So just scroll down and you can join and it's totally free.